If you want to see my free videos, press the red subscribe button and the bell icon to subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to discuss history of whiskey making. Obviously it kind of uh, intertwines with history of alcohol. Now to understand this we need to understand what alcohol is, what is an alcoholic beverage. Uh, whiskey is a drink which is made with grains and it has two parts. One is fermentation which provides the alcohol. One is distillation which increases the quantity or the concentration of alcohol. So you take something like grain or fruit. You take uh, fruits for wine, you, make, you take grapes. For whiskey you take grains and you make some sort of a drink which is like a beer by fermenting it with yeast and then you distill it distillation means uh, concentrated alcohol and then you get whiskey that's the simple chemistry behind it now how did it all start i think in china somewhere where the first records of fermentation exist but a proper beer which i think is a precursor to a whiskey if there is no beer there is no whiskey basically you distill beer and you get whiskey in the most crudest form i can explain you this but it's very important to understand this to understand beverages you take beer you distill it it becomes whiskey you take wine you distill that and it becomes brandy and so on and so forth so the first records of fermentation uh, of beer making as we say were in egypt after some time then we have some records of distillation which i think is more important to us we don't want that five percent alcohol we want the 40 percent alcohol we love our whiskey right so the distillation was established in Mesopotamia, which is uh, today's Iran or Syria. I know those countries are like uh, alcohol is forbidden there, but they are the ones who started it. Uh, the word alcohol, the word al, you know, al means the, cool, alcohol, alchemy, alchemist, that all this chemistry related uh, history is attributed to the Middle East Mesopotamia. Anyway, let's come back to whiskey. So uh, we have distillation established in the Middle East. Of course, in Middle Ages, we must have studied in history. Everyone was, you know, crusades and everyone was going all over the place. It somehow landed up in Central Europe where they were making alcoholic drinks, not whiskey yet, but some sort of a uh, distilled beverage. It was called aquavite. Uh, generally aqua with in Scandinavian countries or the V or the V in France and so on and so forth Genevre the precursor to gin so all these drinks were being made and they were made by these monks uh, some way or the other they are associated with alcohol right the Bavarian monks were making the beer and all that stuff so the monks went to England and Ireland and Scotland and then they started distillation and then Henry the Eighth, I think his Henry the Eighth was the king who abolished all the monasteries. So all these monks were like homeless people and scattered all over the place. And they started individually uh, distilling, and that kind of gave rise to the first distilleries. Now this all happened in Ireland and Scotland, and both are still fighting who is the one who uh, distilled the first whiskey. So I have two facts for you. You can decide on your own who, who came up with uh, whiskey first. So the first mention we have historically is 1405 in Ireland because there is a mention of a lunatic who had too much alcohol and he became crazy. Yeah, I know some kind of a, it's a funny connotation but then a more serious mention uh, you get in 1894 from Scotland's favor where it says that the king gave eight uh, bowls of malt to this monk to make aqua vitae. So this is a historical reference which says that uh, Scotland was where uh, whiskey started. So this is the earliest historical reference of Scotland. Now let's go to the history of the word whiskey. It starts with a Gaelic word which was called Ishkaba. It's not spelt as the way you would imagine Ishkaba is spelt. It's spelt like this. So Ishkaba became Ishka by 1600 something and slowly it became anglicized 
ishkaba was gaelic ishka was gaelic slash english or gaelic and then it became whiskey uh, by 16th uh, something 1605 1608 1610 these uh, distilleries were producing alcohol in scotland now here something very interesting happened you know the phrase uh, calling the shots right uh, i'll call the shots the ceo will call the shots now this was coined in in a way which is very uh, important to understand the development of distilleries now distilleries were very unsafe places they were small little homes like a kitchenettes where whiskey was being made right there was a pot still from which alcohol was coming now alcohol when it comes the first part of alcohol is methanol which is very poisonous the last part of alcohol which runs from a distillery which are called the tails they are very faint and weak only the middle part of the alcohol which runs from a distillery is good and that is the one which you need they were called shots the first shots the four shots were bad poisonous the after shots the last part is weak and the middle shot the middle which is actually called the hearts they were the ones which are desirable so they what they used to do is they used to take a mixture of gunpowder and they used to ignite that alcohol again and again to understand that this is the right strength and it took a lot of courage to do that so that is the meaning of the word calling the shots you know you are trying to find out which are the right shots and that's a very brave activity and that's how you know when you call the shots you are uh, deemed to be a brave courageous person anyway that was i think a very important and a uh, very interesting uh, reference so this is the history of uh, scotch whiskey so from uh, mesopotamia uh, the middle east the distillation went to uh, europe from europe the monks took it to ireland and scotland and because there was so much grain there right what will they distill what you distill what you have in abundance france has a lot of grapes so they were distilling wine uh, Britain, uh, which is Ireland, Scotland, Ireland, they had a lot of beer because they have a lot of uh, barley. So they were make they were distilling beer to make whiskey. So this is what you have to understand. Uh, now let's go to other countries. Let's so let's talk about U.S. whiskey history. In the U.S., the whiskey was brought about obviously by uh, colonists, and the first whiskies were uh, not uh, Kentucky and Tennessee as you might imagine. It was uh, Pennsylvania and Maryland. And then when the westward movement started happening, when people started to move west, I don't mean San Francisco. I mean a little west, which is Tennessee and Kentucky. They realized that there's so much surplus corn here, and the water is amazing because of the limestone natural limestone filtration so the water is really pure uh, you need really pure water to make something like whiskey so that's how the industry uh, was developed because the abundance of clean water and the abundance of corn and that's how bourbon came about now let's go to the Canadian uh, history of whiskey uh, 1790s is where I would imagine the whiskey industry was established there like the way it was corn in America it was growing in abundance the same way it was rye in Canada. So that's why Canadian whiskey is more rye based. Then let's talk about a very interesting country which I think is the talk of the town right now, Japan. Japan actually was one of the late, late countries which got into whiskey production. 1969, Centauri and Nika were established and they were kind of obscure. They were not doing much. They were only producing limited quantities of whiskey and they were kind of languishing on shelves uh, you know this movie lost in translation came uh, uh, bill murray was in that movie and he his role was that he was the uh, he was doing some promotion for uh, suntory in tokyo and that's how the to in, in the whole movie was shot in tokyo and suntory the word suntory and japanese whiskey became a part of the american and the world culture with that movie so lost in translation i think had a big role to play in telling people what japanese whiskies are then of course uh, it's funny that the story of japanese whiskey is hanging on two murrays one was this bill murray the actor and the another guy was also a murray his name was jim murray he was a whiskey writer he is a whiskey writer and he writes uh, this uh, book called the whiskey bible and 2013 edition of whiskey bible gave yamazaki sherry cask uh, the best whiskey award of the year. Already the awards were coming out after Lost in Translation movie and then Jim Murray's, uh, you know, 
acknowledgement by giving it the best whiskey in the world just shot up the prices and the demand soared and supply is obviously limited japan you know you can't just start making whiskey because you're now famous whiskey takes time it has to age so now of course japan must be producing a lot and lot of whiskey so the next 5 10 years the supply is a little bit uh, more than what it is now uh, then comes to India, uh, where uh, Rampur was born. Indian history is basically, I think, 1890, 1900s. That's when the whiskey was brought to Indian subcontinent. Uh, it was obviously brought by the British, and the first distilleries uh, in India were also established by uh, the British. The Mohan Meakin distillery is very famous. It was famously uh, started by the uncle of the infamous General Dyer who was the one who ordered the troops to shoot people in the Amritsar massacre in Jallianwala Bagh. So there's a history there which is interesting and I think the first uh, Scotch whiskey which was brought to India, the reference at least in books is uh, that uh, it used to come in casks not in bottles in uh, 1903, 1905. That's when uh, there's a reference of Glenfiddich, I think, a uh, whiskey being served in India. Uh, but Indian whiskey has, of course, uh, is a huge industry. We'll talk about this another time. So this was uh, my take on the history of the world of whiskeys. In the episodes coming up, we'll be discussing a lot about uh, making of whiskeys and uh, Scotch whiskeys, talking about Rampur itself and talking about some other aspects of whiskey making. Till next time. If you want to see my free videos, press the red subscribe button and the bell icon to subscribe to my channel.